Hi, I'm Margaret with Clay Creations in Pacifica and today I will be demonstrating how to make a vase. Um, just so that you all know, I am starting with um, three pounds of clay and I am using B-Mix. Um, if vases are new to you, I suggest you start with two pounds when we're working on height. Um, there's an element of the gravity that plays into this and it can be a little bit challenging so starting with smaller pieces and working your way up through larger pieces of clay I think would um, be the way to go. Okay so I've centered the clay first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up make my hole and I'm going to keep the pressure closest to my body. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is that when I'm opening the clay I am pulling a little bit closer to my body keeping the pressure on the side, the inside closest to my body versus straight down. If it does get a little bit wobbly, once I open it up, I'm just going to compress it and hold it in place. And what do I mean by that? I'm with my left hand pushing in, my right hand right here, I'm pushing down, holding the clay in place just to get it recentered. It got a little bit wobbly when I made the hole. All right, now that I am back on track, I'm going to just a little bit more thin out, push towards my wrist, hold it in the corner till it feels even, and then come straight up and compress my rim. What I'm going to do now before the clay gets too thin is I'm going to collar it in and bring in the diameter to about this right here. And um, that is going to be the diameter that I need for the very bottom of this face. Um, I don't want to keep bringing it in after uh, my walls thin out, so I'm going to do this now. First bring the top in a little bit, bring this bottom in, collar it in. Bring it in. I would say about there. Okay. All right, next, because I've colored the clay in, the inside is gonna have a little bit of kind of um, warpiness on the wall, the clay wall. So I'm gonna go in and use the sides of my fingers just to kind of straighten it out. Just the sides first. Just make sure it's a little more even. And then compress. All right. Now, I'm going to talk about two different ways to pull up for bases. The first is like this. My thumb is leaning against the side, my fingers, and my in hand that's on the inside is going to be in between, like this. My outside hand is going to push it back in as I'm coming up. The second pull up technique is this way with my finger, the edge of it, and my knuckle coming up like this. In fact, let me do that one first. Okay, I'm gonna do my knuckle first. Push in. And I get to the top. And each time I compress the rim to keep my cylinder strong. When I collar it in, I'm going to make sure I speed up a little. Bring it in. Go back and compress my rim. Why do I speed up? If you are struggling with your cylinders having an uneven top, chances are when you collar it in, you're moving quicker than the wheel spinning. You're not matching it well. So I always say speed up because you have a tendency to push in a little bit faster and then you'll match. Okay, I'll take the water out. Okay. All right. 
right, here we go. Another pull. Now, speed wise, you will know if you're going too fast because your pot will start to move around like this. Normally, I tell people, slow down, slow down, go slower when you're pulling up, which is true. But for narrow pieces, that's the one time you go a little bit faster. So when something is wide, the opening is wide, you go very slow, slower, slowest, slower, not as slow. Okay, this way now. My inside hand, my fingers are right above. You kind of see it coming out. So it was like this. Okay. I'll pull up one more time and then shape. Compress, speed up, color it in. Another mistake that I see that people make is they spend too much time when the clay has gotten thinned out collaring it in. And by that point, because you're looking to get more height, by that point if your clay gets thinned out and you collar it in too much, it'll twist and buckle. And at some point that happens to all, everybody to kind of know what's your what does it mean when you say it's too thin. Well, you'll kind of know because the clay won't cooperate, it won't go back in well, it'll twist and buckle on you. So here we go. This will be my last pull. Okay, the next one is going to be all about shaping. When I shape this cylinder, I'm going to start off together. I'm going to reverse. My outside hand is going to be higher than my inside hand. My inside hand is going to push out for shaping, pull it out, and then come back together. Okay, so here we go. what kind of shape you want. Maybe you want this shape. Maybe you want this shape. the flowers going to lie. It's nice when it's just slightly angled out. I don't like my neck to be too big. If I do have a big neck, then I like it to be a bigger vase, bigger flowers, but I guess you can always cut it down. All right, now I'm going to use my rib just a little bit to clean up the outside. Fun to kind of play around with the shape. Decide what you like. Ribs are nice for vases if you whoops. I'm gonna use the angle. Around this maybe after all. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is that undercut. Take the water out. Nobody wants a crack in their vase. And the undercut. I'm going to start up a little higher.
and then tomorrow I'll put a foot on it. Alright, thank you so much for joining me today.